Level New Trooper Sonics here, back with some more Boom Beach. And once again, we are back with the offensive um, offensive account here, or the offensive base, or whatever you want to call it. And where we left off, um, which was actually, that's not long ago, although it did take me about a day to actually get the uh, previous video uploaded, because uh, I'm a lazy person, and it took me a while to actually realise, I've done this recording, maybe I should just get this damn thing uploaded, but that's done and dusted, and here we are with the next episode. So what's going on right now? Well, this is the HQ6 base. From what I remember, I have done pretty much these uh, similar bases before back on my more conservative, defense oriented uh, account. So I've already done, you know, bases like this before anyway. I might actually switch that turret, that, that uh, sniper around there, but... So I've done bases before on these, um... <coughs> on these lower level um, HQs, but I don't know, I, you, this, this is probably going to be different uh, to my last base design, so it gives you some variety and you know, you can see what's going on and, I don't know, compare and contrast, whatever. I may have not done HQ bases 4 and 5 on my old account, uh, my Captain Defense, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually, so you would have seen a few newer ones just then, but then I started Captain Defense pretty much from the beginning and I've been almost recording for the most part from the beginning. What I'm going to say, random person on Skype. Secondly, <laughs> um, what's going on? So yeah, with this is pretty much all the buildings down except the um, <clears throat> the uh, stone storage. Uh, literally just plonk that anywhere; it doesn't matter. Uh, we got heavy zooka all uh, lined up here, looking very nice. Uh, which uh, I need to start actually getting some some more of my economy buildings upgraded. So I'm actually going to um, upgrade my uh, residence here. So. Uh, at the moment, it, it, at the moment, like I said, it's just getting um, those shards and stuff and the sculptor here, getting some more fragments, so on and so forth. So there's a bit more collecting to do because it's hard to go really offensive until I get some more um, upgrades done. And not, you know, to mention, I'm, I'm probably going to need to get the uh, this uh, armory upgraded again. Um, but that, I mean, I could probably gain that stone actually from a few resource bases, which I've I've actually acquired a new one here. Uh, this one over to the right of the base. Uh, recently acquired that. I've got a few attacks to show you. I have been taking a few people out, a few NPCs and so forth. So this base, I've been slowly chopping away at the trees. There's still a few here, which I can harvest. Um, there actually isn't any stone on this base. I thought there was, uh, but there's stone on my base, and I will be removing stones. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to try and keep the um, forest <coughs> in relatively uh, good place. And I think one thing I would like, I'm definitely going to be trying to do, and now hopefully I don't just chop all my trees down like a freaking anti tree person. Um, I'm going to make a nice forest base um, because, let's be honest here, with an offensive, if, you, if you're being properly offensive with all of your uh, boats and your troops and whatnot, you don't have time to make a good base. And I mean, like I said, I will put, you know, snipers and buildings. I'll put things in the way of the enemy, but I'm not going to try and, and get defences, but that's kind of ironic, because look at this. <laughs> this one guy has been trying to get me for the entire time. And you know what's interesting? He's level 12 here, 77 victory points. Now he's level 13 at uh, 79 victory points, 81 and 81 again. So he's actually been increasing his victory points as time goes on. So this guy has just been attacking me constantly. Um, I'm not going to show you all of the attacks, but I'll show you this one here. He's pretty much got the same boat config as I have, although his troops are all level 1. So we'll just show you this most recent attack, because I think I would be here for days. Um, but not surprisingly, the uh, he takes out that um, cannon at the front here. So, like I said, I'm not trying to be defensive, but like I'll put things in the way of the enemy just to give them a... Yeah, especially at this level, it seems to be working. Yeah, I mean, with, I mean, anything is with here. He tried to bum rush, go through my economy wall, which is an idea. It's definitely a smart idea, but uh, with three snipers, or at least it was three snipers, uh, shooting down his heavies, they were going to die very quickly. And now that um, mine weakened all of his zoo, because this machine gun peppering them will take out a few but then he heals them so he does a smart tactic but it doesn't go very well now I think <clears throat> sorry I've only just had tea so I've got something in my throat 
he probably would have been able to get me if he if those remaining Zookas would have been able to take out that sniper turret because you can see nothing's actually shooting at him yet nothing's like actually shooting it's just that one sniper but that sniper you just saw pretty much got that last shot on that Zooka before uh, the Zooka could shoot again so that was very sort of last point so and I'm, I, that's why I moved this uh, I'm gonna move this um, uh, sniper over there just because uh, because yes so th this this will at least do some defenses but no matter how good your base design is if you have high victory points you will never be able to defend anything um, I'm not going to take out uh, Hammerman for a while, uh, to be honest. Um, I might look into getting some higher level troops before I actually uh, try and uh, take him out. Because, like I said before, I do prefer to take the MMG out, but that MMG hurts like hell. Um, and you, I think how I usually do it is I have like a majority heavy, heavy focused heavy Zooka, if that makes any sense. So just go with a lot of heavies and not so many Zookas, and that's usually enough. But anyway, let's, let's actually start some some of the clearing out here. Let's just get some of these NPCs out of here. One, two, three. It's a pretty standard sort of setup going on here. Proper heavy Zooka, finally, um, which is nice to see because I haven't really been doing. Um, I've been doing a lot of heavy Zooka rifle, which is a nice sort of strategy in the uh, in the early game. But you kind of want to uh, start to diversify. So I'm just, I, at the moment, I'm just weakening those turrets down, so those heavies. Um, uh, we've already lost a Zooka, God damn it! Um, but the good thing is I have saved a few diamonds back from the random chests and exploring the map and so on and so forth. So we've had a, a few more things appearing, which is good. So it does mean I can afford to refill things. But um, now the question is, uh, will I need to actually speed up that one Zooka? Probably not. Um, Although, yeah, this one might be a little bit of a pain. It just needs... Uh, actually, it's a good point. How far does that see? Hmm. It's doable, but this one's going to be... I think I might... Yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, so, let's see. One, two, three. And let's uh, let's just let the heavies and zookas do their own thing over here. When that snipe... Uh, yeah, it's not a sniper. When that rocket launcher starts getting any funny ideas, we'll have to start rushing. But I, I just want to get some GBE back. Um, now, hopefully, we don't run over too many mines. So now, actually, now I think about it, it probably doesn't matter. Cause uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Let's just uh, just go for it. That Zook is going to have some issues. Yep. No, this is actually fine. Um, let's just med kit just for the sake of argument. Med kit, why not? Um, now what, what was I thinking? Um, you, you don't you don't always have to do that, you know, rush them, rush the uh, rocket launcher and get inside its blind spot idea. You don't always have to do it. So, uh, but the good news is we can create our very first statue. So there we go. What are we gonna get? We can put it. We can put it down. It doesn't matter. I know it's a life statue, and they'll become less relevant as time goes on. But. Uh, gold production. To be honest, that is actually good because uh, I do need uh, gold for the armory. Get those product, get that production going up. So eight percent, barely anything, but it'll do. Um, I forgot to show you some of those attacks. I'll do that in a second. Let's just let's just get the NPCs out the way first. I'll show you that stuff, and then let's see if we can actually do um, any. Uh, player attacks, which there's probably going to be a couple of people. I haven't really looked, to be honest. Anyway, one, two, three. be nice if I can uh, two-shot those um, snipers, those, like those level one snipers eventually, but that requires leveling your shit up. So, hug this side. This this base is kind of silly. It's like all those mines and a couple of defences, you know, it looks, you know, intimidating, but then you realise this this one side that's only guarded by one sniper. It's just, but then it's an NPC. They're hardly going to be, you know. Oh my God, these are impossible to attack kind of bases. <laughs> I've yet to see any of that. Oh, to be honest. But then I suppose it depends on your level. Another thing. I hope I do sound okay. I've been. I've actually been re-watching a few of my uh, videos um, on Boom Beach and with you know recording with the laptop's mic it's it's not the best I admit I do sound a little bit like I'm in a church or something 
slight bit of echo slash reverb thing going on, but it seems good enough. You can hear you can hear me okay. At least I get I can get the point across from whatever I'm doing without like breaking everything. So let's explore the map. Let's see if we get some diamonds. We do. Thank you. Only three, but I'll take it. Um, wait, hang on. That victory point. Okay, nice. Uh, so we could do stone, diamonds, or fragments. Now, bear in mind we we've just made a statue. Three fragments won't get me far. The stones are not necessary at the moment. Not to mention I could get it. I could get more anyway. And then three more diamonds, but I've already got like fifty. Now I go with the fragments. I know it's life fragments, and it's not really a thing that I need. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, these are the um, higher level snappers. Let's hope the uh, ple uh, hopefully the sniper locks onto the heavy. Yes, it looks like it's going to. Hopefully they both lock onto the heavy. Let's just do a double med kit just because I can. We got we have to uh, we'll have to rush that uh, other sniper down. Just artillery it. As soon as those zoogers get behind those heavies, it'll go down, and then it's pretty much GG. Easy peasy. Just requires a little bit faster thought. We have to, uh, we have to like rush it, I guess. Okay, let's just like destroy a few things, like that over there. Uh, shoot that first. <laughs> you can see, you can see, I like to weaken the HQ if, if at all possible, um, before I uh, destroy it. But then again, I've got like eight, well, seven zooks at the moment. But uh, normally I have eight Zookas behind me, so that's usually a good amount. And hey, we got the Explorer achievement, so yet more diamonds. Only ten of them, but I'll take them. So that's that's looking uh, looking good stuff. Now, actually, that's a good question. Sixteen diamonds to actually fart to speed that up, so let's see how much loot we get at the end of the day, and is it actually worth my time speeding that up. Um, now, who have I destroyed? I had these two guys I've taken down. Um, this guy called Dark, and this guy... Wait, no, I think actually no, I stand correct. Did I wait, did I hang on? I cannot remember, I'll be brutally honest with you, if I've actually uh So these are like twenty four hours ago. Uh I don't think I've shown you these. I'm sorry if I have shown you these battles before. I'm debating if I if I had um I had like shown you in regards to um No I have oh, I've done that before. No I have, I recognise that base. Uh, you can tell I get confused. So maybe maybe I haven't actually done the um uh, player bases. I, I thought I had, or maybe I was like waiting for these guys to show up or something. But this level 17 would be pretty unlikely unless he's got a crap base. Well, it's a very spread out base. I'll give it that. Uh, if anything, this is actually possible. Um, I just need to hug one of the walls. That sniper is gonna barely see me. But then I just got to whittle away at his. Um, Econ economy buildings there. Maybe take out that machine gun. Actually, maybe not worth my time. Pull back because it's only the. So I mean, the mortar's gonna probably hit the heavies, but the snipers won't. So looks like a level 17. Assuming I don't screw this up, might die to me because of a bad base design. So okay, let's. Um, we got. We got to hug this wall. We really have got to hug this wall. Zoop, you, you can. The zoopers are gonna hit that. God damn it. Um, okay, that sniper's going to shoot my Zoogas, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I only shot one of them. It's not too bad. Could be worse. Get Once that sniper goes... Let's see... Um, I'll let them do their own thing for a minute. I'm going to take out that... Um, machine gun. Sorry, I'm just... Try not to screw this up because this should be a fairly easy victory. I mean, I lost another Zooka, sure. Um, oh, actually, no, no, I don't think I did because it looked like that other Zooka I was um, uh, retraining or whatever the term is, and I had naturally, um, you know, sped it up. Had actually finished. So okay, let's go. Right, everyone get there specifically. I think I should move back one. Okay, no, 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 we're good. Nothing's going to hit me, right? Okay, they're going to hit the heavies. 
but honestly, I don't care. Let's just throw a med kit and an artillery shell at the HQ, and this this guy is going down. Level 17, full, fell to a level 12, was I? Or my level 13? I don't know. So hey, he went down. I had a butt ton of loot there. That's a good amount of uh, stuff there. And I may as well explore this section of the map here. What's going on? With diamonds. I like diamonds. 21 diamonds. Thank you, mate. Um, okay, looks like we can actually get a fair bit done in this. So what's going on here? We got a rocket lawn chair. I did say lawn chair. Um, something tells... I got a weird idea. I got a really weird idea for this base, so hang on a minute. <laughs> This is going to be a very... I'm going to try heavies only and I'm going to try and get inside... Get inside the uh, blind spot. Now the thing is I, d I don't really think... How fast is that going down? At an okay rate. Uh, two artilleries. Let's do three. But as soon as that rocket launcher goes down we'll drop the zooks. Because we need to, we need to get that um, extra support in for the heavies. Mainly because uh, otherwise we get this, these guys are going to get shot down. Um, over there, please. Don't get, don't you get any ideas and start sideswiping my zookas. Okay, no, we're good. Over there, please. I'm going to throw a med kit in front of them. Okay, so that was a bit of an unconventional way to take out that uh, rocket launcher, but. It, like I said, getting, it's, it's, getting those Zoogas into the blind spot is risky. I mean, it depends if you. I mean, you could do the idea that of just throwing a bunch of med kits. You know, so the Zoogas are constantly getting healed as the rocket launcher is trying to shoot them. But it's not a particularly ideal strategy, and one that uh, might get a bit dicey. So we're going to speed that up. Okay, so what have we got here? We've actually got a lot of loot. Um, I'm just kind of thinking I might... Uh, maybe I should like upgrade something. Um, how much is that going to cost me? Seven, seven of that. Um, now the question is... So that's three hours and so that's plus twenty... Eh. Something, something tells me trooper level might be a more wiser idea. I mean, 20,000. And then this was, this, this was more like you know, 20,000 again. Uh, let's just use some of this gold and just harvest a few of these stones. Let's see if we can get... What was it, like 2,000? Uh, oh, I might have actually had enough just then. That was 3,000. I stand entirely corrected. Well, that's going to reduce it to 5 diamonds. We'll do it because we have diamonds. Um, and that's certainly uh, freed up our loot now. So now we can do a bit more attacking. So let's actually just go check these guys out, see what's going on uh, with these peeps. Uh, the first onset... Um. Hmm. Once again, he's got a bit of a blind ass. It's uh. The only issue is getting the troops there. Is just getting all those troops to the back. Huh. I would have to waste a lot of flares, and it's going to be kind of dicey. And I don't, and I don't really want to re reload my troops just yet, so. I think it's possible. Just a bit of a pain. Uh, oop. So, let's see. Over here. Yeah, that one looks doable enough. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for this guy. Alright, so let's do uh, a one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Get though, get that down. And uh, let's uh, go from this side. I'm worried about that bottom sniper. Unless I... Because I need to get another three artillery shells worth of uh, energy up. But that's going to be difficult. Unless I just sit there and like medkit through it. Which is, a, which is a strategy I could do. Just sit there and see if I can just take the shots. We'll let them take out that second, and then uh, we're going to flare here. We're going to, yeah, we're probably going to lose a heavy on this. Yep, and we did. Is that cannon shooting me? It is. Okay, let's um, let's just do it. Let's do a double med kit and 
That should be all that's needed, as long as that heavy does not die immediately. Okay, Zooka should start going for the HQ. Okay, we lost a f you know most of our heavies there, but hey, it's not it's not all that bad. Let's just accelerate that. Hopefully those actually that's a good point. Hopefully those Zookas can actually take down that oh. Mortar, don't get any any ideas. <laughs> it didn't get any ideas. Nice, we we're out of range. So the heavies I suppose did their purpose. They took all the shots and the Zookas survived, which is definitely how it should be. So before I reload, let's just check to make sure there's something I can do. And it looks like I just had a map notification that something just respawned. This guy has changed his base, damn it. Um <laughs> But, okay, what what just respawned? It was a village. Okay, um... Let's go reload our troops and, uh... I don't know, see what's going on, so... Goody, goody, goody. Um... This guy... Who are you, and what do you like? Okay, a nice, fairly simple base design. I shouldn't put my, um... My water right next to the exhaust vent of this laptop, because, uh... Doesn't feel hot to the touch, but um, if you actually feel the, the side vent of this machine, it, it kicks out a metric shit ton of heat. Yes, that is a unit of measurement. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, one thing I've noticed in, in these um, offensive videos, it looks like um, of all the, of all things right now, I seem to have this one guy on YouTube who gives me the, gives me a fairly regular view and a like to all my uh, to each video so far. So thank you, whoever you are. You know, you're like the first person to be. Uh, at least thanking me in one way or another, or showing your support, which is uh, certainly appreciated. Um, early days, of course, but I say early days. It actually has been a, a while. I've been on YouTube for a while, but then again, my videos have been kind of sporadic and random. I've no, I'm not really. We got a crystal, okay then. Um, they've not been particularly concise and regular per se. But then, YouTube is just something I do when I have time and when I feel like it. It is, there's not much else to it otherwise. Okay, this was another base that looked pretty doable. It looks very doable, actually. He's, a level, he's still HQ5, huh, and he's level 13. All Riflemen. To be honest, All Riflemen isn't actually that effective. Well, it looks like he's... Yeah, he's got one level gunboat higher than me. Um, so, level 4, level 4, 3... Okay. I don't know. Um, something tells me I might just medkit through and see what happens. That might be a better idea. Let's just um, let's plonk our guys over here, um, and we'll try the whole medkit through and I don't know, try and prioritize targets if the heavies start taking too much heat. Just want to get some um, magma statues because, like I said, I have never, I have never done like an offensive. I'm going to destroy everything. <laughs> That I that I feel like it kind of play style. Anyway, let's um, we're gonna actually take out that sniper because he's starting to heckle my guys a lot. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them fight through um, until uh, hmm. let's see. Take out that mortar first, and then we're going to go up here. Let's see. I need two med kits for that because that sniper is. Uh, Really shooting down my guys. That one heavy. Okay, both of them having to walk like up there. He's gonna be taking a lot of shots, right? Go for it, go for it. Okay, good. Okay. Um, surprisingly, we didn't lose any heavies. They got rather low, but typically, some of those heavies went around the HQ, right in front of that machine gun fire, and you don't get you don't get within point blank range of a machine gun because they have a lot of damage. At point blank range and three fragments. Nice. Maybe, maybe the game heard me when I was saying I wanted uh, fragments. But we got four, uh, four of it looks like life and magma. So, so far so good, I guess. But anyway, let's see what. Let me just double check this guy again. Or was it just because he's changed his base? I wasn't going to take it on. Yeah, he's he's doing a fairly good thing, especially for this level. And that is to bunch all of your buildings together because you cannot. There's no shock yet. No one has shock, and it does kind of make sense to just see what the hell you can do with it. Um, I think just for the final round before we uh, finish up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go for this MMG. Something tells me though, I was not able to do it 
until um, I got to a higher level of a boat, I think. It was either so I can get two or three heavies. I cannot remember. And something tells me that um, this is probably not going to work. I might have to go to my three boats of heavies, one boat of Zooka's um, strategy. I cannot remember, honestly. But all I remember is you flare to the you flare to the gun and then you medkit the shit out of your heavies and hope that they stay alive. That was my strategy last time. But anyway, let's let's give this a try. So we're going for you. That MMG is gonna cause hell. Right, double medkit. Go, go, go. It's probably not gonna work, like I said. Although it might do actually. He's only sh wow! I'm surprised that's actually working. Huh. Okay, guys, you might have just seen me take down um, Hammerman um, HQ10. It appears. Zugas so don't walk over those mines. Good, good, good. And it looks like we didn't lose a single troop. All right. In, in a second, then I will show you um, my troop layout, like what level my guys are at, and so on. To be honest, I think they're only like level two or three, maybe. Probably level two for the most part, um, but no, I'm generally surprised. That's just like th triple artillery for that. And, hey, we got an achievement, a bunch of life, and a bunch of shit. So there we go. Now the great thing about this is I think you've unlocked at this point Doctor T's uh, normal island. I'm pretty sure you have, at least this mode. And um, we also level up to uh, another level of what of what of a flippy and more diamonds. We have loot coming out of the ears right now. Okay, let's see where the statue is. Uh, no, don't, don't say move the skull to you dingus. Right, 80 victory points. <laughs> uh, we have another gold production. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> another 8%. Right, let's just quickly show you what's going on here. So, uh, Zuga's are level 2 and Heavy's are level 2. To be honest, that was apparently enough. So two boats of heavies and two boats of zookas. These are level four boats, if you're wondering. Um, I had a level five gunboat uh, just because of the med kits, uh, which is a good idea. Just just double med kit your heavies, and that does seem to. That was surprising. I, I I was expecting just the MMG just to go to town on those heavies, because it kind of does if you give them long enough, and uh, you know we actually came out on top. So there's a lot of loot here, and something tells me I'm not gonna be able to uh, keep the loot uh, for much longer because um, that guy is probably going to be uh, attacking me soon but uh, now am I going to be silly enough to use all those diamonds I got finish that armory and maybe get something else on the upgrade something tells me I should because like I said being offensive like this you generally can't hang on to loot for very long because you, you generally don't you know you're negating defense and you're saying okay I'm not going to be able to defend, but the flip side is you get damn good troops, and apparently my config was good enough for um, Hammer HQ 10. So, I don't know, should I go with the boat? Or a little bit by bit with this? Or maybe, maybe I should just go with the sawmill, get a bit of wood myself. That's only 10,000 though. 10,000 I can get. I think I'm going to finish it, you know. That's, next. That's very expensive. It's going to leave me with 12 diamonds left. <sighs> yeah, that was expensive. But it does mean then I can then do a fairly, at least for the amount of loot that I have, a fairly expensive upgrade uh, for that. Uh, and now we can upgrade... <sighs> what can we upgrade? Uh, we can upgrade artillery legit anyway, um, which is good. And then I think I'm going to have to start upgrading some of the storage units. Uh, not to mention we should be getting a fair bit more uh, gold now. No. I see a fair bit. It's um, probably going to be a noticeable amount. Uh, but there you go. I think I'm probably going to finish up here. There's not too much going on right now. So, okay, it's HQ7 you get the shock bomb. So that's worth noting. So maybe bases like this won't be applicable for much longer than, you know, the whole just put all your snipers and all your stuff in a fairly confined area. But I'm using the natural, you know, gradient of this uh, land here as um, some of the building placements. So. But snipers, never, never forget them. They will say they will save the day more often than not. God, this video was almost 30 minutes long, and it probably will be by the time I finish um, saying all the spiel I need to say. So anyway, 30 minutes of Boom Beach later, and uh, 
We've came out pretty well. Hammerman HQ 10 is down. I'm showing you a bunch of defenses for an offensive player, which makes no sense. Uh, an HQ 6 base and a bunch of just generic attacking. So an, H an HQ tw uh, a level 12 even uh, player like myself defeated this guy at level 17. Level's not always everything. It's also down to base design, level of buildings, and the amount of ice you have. And also the troops you have. So there you go. It just it depends a lot on what's going on and what you're doing. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you all for watching. Like, people, comment, subscribe. All of the usual stuff that most people say on YouTube. And next video, I'm... Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't try and predict things in the future. But I'll keep working off, off camera. Get some more diamonds for an, another one of these videos. And I'll, so we can do some more building. Do some more offensive stuff. Try and let some more players um, show up on the map. We still have two players here. I might try and get this guy off camera. I don't know, to be honest. Since I since I generally don't pick battles I can't win, I might just wait till, he, till I can refresh him. And we'll go from there. <clears throat> so, anyway, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.